Have you ever dreamed of a place far away from it all? Where the air you breathe is soft and clean, children play in the fields of green. Where the sounds of guns never power your dreams. Hello, master. Hello, Hello master. master. Hello, master. Hi, sweetheart. Sugar pie. Heroes of the age. How are you guys? Oh, we are good, good master. master. How are you, master? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Uh, as good as it gets. Yeah. That's good. And uh, I'm very grateful to God. And appreciate your guys' work. I mean, all of the in-house and remote workers. Okay. Yes, master. Yes, master. Also, those who work indirectly or occasionally for the world through Supreme Master Television. It really works. It does work. It's just too slow for our liking, but it works. Tell me, is there anything good to know or to ask? <laughs> Yeah, we have some topics we would like to ask about. Yeah. With regards to the UK and the new Prime Minister Liz Truss, um, she's made a few decisions that's not very popular with the public. For example, she told King Charles not to attend COP27. When will that be then? I will be in November. Oh, November. Oh, okay. Six okay. November, to be exact. Okay. Okay. Good. So, what is it about? So yes. Um, well, she advised uh, King Charles not to go, so he won't be attending the COP. But he seems very passionate about environmental issues, so she's perhaps mentioned or hinted that it's for government to take care of these affairs rather than the, the monarchy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What does Master think about that? It's uh, up to the king, of course, but uh, he's a king. He can decide what he wants, also, as long as he doesn't hurt the country. And he doesn't compete the government in any way. For that case, as best as he can, as best as he understands and believes, he's been very, uh, how do you say, vocal about uh, the environment. Yes. Mm -hmm. He even tried to be vegetarian two times a week. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, one day, non dairy products for variety and for rich people or important people that can eat what they want all the time. And they have all the delicacies. For him to really try to cut down on meat and dairy products to be vegetarian twice a week already. And even one extra day, no milk, no dairy products. So that shows that he's serious, as serious as a person can be. I mean, in the outside world. Yes. Of course, I said, you guys, my <laughs> association member, my disciples. Yes. Yes. You yes. know more. Cause you, you learn more and you are more attuned to the how and why to protect the environment. Yeah. Yes, yes, master. yes, master. You won't concentrate on that. So if he is so passionate about it as much as he can, then he should go. I mean, if I were him, I would go, you know. <laughs> Whatever I tell you is only you guys <laughs> and your brother and sister in this age that really pay attention. I mean, most of you guys, most of the initiates. So I don't know why um, Prime Minister Trust advised the king not to go. Whatever the king decides, he would decide. Yeah, yes. Master. The reason, I think, she said it was because... Do you know the reason why? No, no master. master. As I read it, maybe I remember well that she said that he should not be with the ministers because most of the attendees are global ministers. She might think that this may be too unbefitting for a king, huh? Um, oh. But it shouldn't be like that. It's a modern time, king or not. You have to take care of the world and your country. Environmental climate change is a very urgent thing. Yes, that's yes, right. Yes, that's right. 
Most scientists agree that an increase of just 0.4 more degrees will drastically change the world. And the world are dealing with record extreme heat. Storms have been causing deadly floods. You could have mass melting of ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica. We don't act immediately. Scientists say the consequences will be catastrophic. Three degrees of warming is really disastrous. Dealing with unprecedented heat waves and drought. All day today, the rain falling so heavily and so quickly. Ten billion dollars. But recovery funds are tight. Rescuers doing everything they can to reach survivors. If the king or the president or the prime minister doesn't take care, then who would take care? Yes. Yeah. yes. And of course, if the king or the president is the highest level in the governmental society, if they don't lend their support, if they don't voice their opinion, if they don't use their very powerful influence of their position, then who would? Yes. Yes, exactly. We do what we can because we don't know if anybody listens, but I'm still doing it anyway. <coughs> they do what they can. But of course it's up to the king. Uh, he doesn't have to always listen to the prime minister's advice if he thinks it's not appropriate to what he's feeling or thinking himself. Yes, yes master. master. In my opinion, if you ask me, uh, if the king can go out on the street, as we've seen many times. Even since he was a prince already, he could go out on the street or mingle with anybody, anywhere, at some special party or something, and shake hands with people on the street. Now, why shouldn't he go shake hands or sit with the prime minister? Yes, exactly. Yes. Right. In Japan, there was a rule from a long time ago. If I remember well, in Japan, there's supposed to be a rule, like even the king and the queen will not go anywhere to any gathering if the king or and the queen would not be the center of attention, not the main focus of that gathering. First, when his son got married, they were not present. If I remember well, oh my God, it's been a long time already. Yes, 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 master. Because they were not the main focus, the main personage on that occasion. Yes, yes. So maybe it's the same in England or many other royal systems. But uh, if you don't care about the world or your citizens or what happened on the planet and in the world, then what for you are king, tell me. Right, right. Yes, master. yes, master. Yeah, what are the reasons? Yes. What do you think? You would think that you have uh, all good uh, noble intentions to lead the country and improve the country in all aspects. So it's not like the government wants to do everything and leave the king on one side. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, you stay out of this. <laughs> oh, gosh, this is for us, not for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stand by, huh? <laughs> if we need you, we will call. <laughs> Yes, Master. What will happen to the king if the whole planet is destroyed by climate change? Yeah, indeed. Will he still be there and will the government even do enough to protect him or protect their people? No. No, no. Master. At the moment, it doesn't seem like they're doing enough anyway. So the more opinions, the more support, the better for everybody. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Anything else? Well, yeah, she's also made a big uh, <laughs> upheaval. She's U-turned on the tax reduction for the super wealthy and has since fired her chancellor and hired a new chancellor. So her decisions are not very popular and crashed the financial markets in the UK. Anything else? Yeah, so even now some of her own people are wanting her to resign. Huh? Yeah. So quickly? Yes, at least yeah. three of them. I'm now joined by a Conservative MP. It's Andrew Bridgen, writer of letters to get rid of Tory Prime Ministers. Was it the right decision? What should happen next? Yes, it was the right decision. Um, clearly, Liz Truss had lost the confidence 
not only of the parliamentary party but the public at large. I think when you get to minus 70 on, on personal approvals, um, you're basically giving Vladimir Putin a run for his money, aren't you? Is it time today, Thursday morning, for Liz Truss to resign? I think we need new leadership. Um, there are huge global challenges in terms of inflation, in terms of pressure on interest rates, uh, obviously the energy crisis with Russia's aggression against Ukraine. In a time of uncertainty, we need solid leadership. And I'm afraid, I'm very sorry to say, that has been distinctly lacking from Downing Street in the last several weeks. Oh, she's new, you know. If she reverses and improve or repair the damage, then uh, it should be good already. At least she listened, saw the bad effects and changed. It proves that the UK is still a free country. Like uh, you can voice your opinion freely and help the leader to improve. And you do not have to die mysteriously for that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but she should have done the opposite. She should take care of the poor, not the super rich. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Even though now I'm not a prime minister, I don't know much about politics, but this seems like the opposite direction that she's going. Yeah, what else? Those are the main things that stirred up public disapproval. <laughs> okay. But I told you already, Boris is good for England. At least good for England, not to talk about good for the world. I told you, no? Yeah. Yes. yes. But who cares? Yes. Who cares? Nobody listens to me anyway. I'm just telling you. <laughs> uh, yeah, Master, why, why does she do all this, make all these decisions? Yeah, people do what they do according to their level of spiritual status. That is the thing. Oh. Ah. Mm in the old, 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 old times. And still in many tribal or in some smaller communities, people select a leader according to their wisdom, according to their virtue, not by how they talk. Yes, yes, master. yes master. And they check also the aura ah. that bespeaks your inner spiritual development. Yes. I don't want to tell you what her level is. Oh. People can judge. And you can tell. You cannot just <laughs> look at the person outside. You have to see what they do. Yes. Yes, Master. So people don't know about President Trump inside or Boris Johnson inside. So they disregard their contribution to their country. Only the people who have psychic power, who have the wisdom eye, often can see them. Because the outside is sometimes very... Difficult for people to judge. Yes, master. Yes, master. Also, sometimes, even though people know it, but they don't like it because the truth sometimes hurts people. Here you go. If you tell them the truth, they don't like it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, it's also like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Far away from it all. Never found a dream.